Brazil pour un temps comme ça. With a great apostolic anointing, the great oxygen apostolic to the to bring revival to the nations. Pour qu'on puisse porter réveil à toutes les nations. His mantle and anointing is not just for this house. Manteau et oxygen qui s'ouvre là, pas seulement pour maison ça. It's bigger than this place. Les plus grands que place ça. Is an anointing for the nations. C'est une option pour nation. And please don't restrict him. Please pa 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 que bel nocage. Because he carries something. Parce que les potons bagay. That can only function at its maximum capacity when he's in the nations. Il n'a pas fonctionné la capacité totale c'est l'aile la nation. And uh, I needed to be praying for him. Like never before. I'm glad to be with you. I'm looking forward to the move of God. I want to see what God has in stock for us today. We just completed prayer works 2019 in Maryland. No, just finished with the moment of prayer again in Maryland. Had a great move of God. It's a great move of God. It's something I've been doing for many years now. So I've been doing it for many years now. And uh, we, had and, uh, we had Bishop T.D. Jakes, my friend. We had Bishop T.D. Jakes, my friend. And Dr. Paula White. We had Dr. Paula White with us. And some of my prophetic team with me. The team of prophets came together with me. We began Thursday night. We began Thursday night. Friday all day, Vendredi, toute la journée, all night, toute la nuit, till Saturday morning, jusqu'à samedi matin, 10 a.m. à 10 heures du matin, and nobody went home. Et pas quelqu'un la caillou. And uh, you know, after a while, après un temps, uh, if I will not break protocol, si je ne vais pas briser le protocol dans la salle, I will want the pulpit to be brought down there, dans mes pour te pulpit là bas, so I can be close to the people. Je ne vais pas prier avec nous. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jésus. Lift up your hands. Levez mes mains. All over this place. Dans toute salle. Spirit of the living God. Esprit de Dieu vivant. These are your people. Ça, They've come from different works of life and different backgrounds. Different Each one with their own needs and issues they are dealing with. Problem Give us permanent solutions. Let curses be broken. Let yokes be destroyed. Do a new thing. Break chains. Brise chain. Destroy. Détruit. Every work of the enemy. Bring deliverance. Pour tes I proclaim freedom. Pour pour I command healings. Liberty. Pour liberté. In the atmosphere. Dans atmosphère là. Angels descend. C'est pour angels descend. And ascend. Et puis, uh, In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Demons. Demons. You are dismissed. By the power of Jesus' name, you have no business being here. Satan, take your hands off us. Take your hands off our mind. Take your hands off our emotions. Take your hands off our bodies. Take your hands off our souls. In the name of Jesus, name above every other name, Satan, hands off. And now let this house never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. Now let that which is holding back the numeric and financial increase of this house be broken. Let any embargo place 
on the multiplication of this house be lifted in the name of Jesus. Lifted. Let it be lifted in the name of Jesus. We will run through troops. We will leap over walls. We will see the manifestations of your glory. In the name above every other name. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Say amen if you believe that. Take a minute or two. I want you to welcome somebody. And tell them the devil is a liar and so his mother-in-law. Pastor. Can we go down? Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is better. I feel close to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your right hand. Say, Spirit of the living God. Touch me. Touch me. Like never before. In Jesus' name. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen. Well, give the Lord a shout and a clap offering. And you may be seated in heavenly places. I'm told you've been in a fast. Is that correct? All right. Okay. There are many benefits. For fasting. Many benefits for fasting. Good to see you, woman of God. Amen. Put your hands together for her. Hallelujah. But before I come to some of the benefits of fasting, fasting uh, is a practice. It's a spiritual practice uh, that was practiced in the Old Testament. Uh, people like Moses representing the law fasted 40 days and 40 nights twice. Prophet Elijah Representing the prophets, fasted for 40 days. Uh, people like Daniel fasted 21 days Daniel, and sought God for the manifestation of the prophetic word concerning the 70 years Babylonian captivity. David fasted offense. David, and he said, I humble my soul with fasting. So, though he was a king, though he had gold, he had silver, he had excellence, he had power, he had authority, he was anointed. And yet, Malgré tout, he was also a prophet. Il était un prophète. And yet, Malgré tout, he fasted. Il jeûnait. And he saw fasting il était jeune, as one of the ways chemin, to humble the soul. Pour les milliers, non, mais, because the soul is very proud and very arrogant. Parce que non, non, très orgueil, très arrogant. And so is the flesh. Même avec la chair aussi. So the other day, Paul said, Paul dit comme ça, I bring my body under 
Il dit, mais mettez comme en bas, moi assujetti comme. I bring my body under subjection. Il dit, moi assujetti comme. Ouais. Lest that after I have preached to others, I myself be a castaway. Pour ne pas rejeter l'homme qui ne prêche aux autres. And Paul said that one of the ways. Et Paul dit, une façon. He brought his flesh under. Il a assujetti comme. Was fasting often. C'est par le jeûne et souvent le jeûne est Amen. Amen. Uh, so fasting is a very powerful tool. Jeunes sont instrument qui très puissant. That when it's deployed, il est au fait, il est déployé. It can bring down any situation. Il peut amener des sons n'importe situation. That confronts the believer. Qui te confronte croyant. Jesus lived a fasting life. Jésus Christ est vivant, il vit de jeûne. He fasted often. Il jeûnait souvent. And the spiritual fathers uh, le, le, le of our time, notre temps, lived a fasting life. A Christian and a believer who does not fast the whole year on chrétien, ou bien quoi, pas jeûne pendant toute l'année, stands a chance to backslide. Ou capable chuter. Because your flesh will take over. Parce que la chair après devant. There is a constant or what I call an ongoing conflict between your flesh and your spirit. The spirit wants dominance over the flesh. And the flesh wants dominance over the spirit. Whoever you yield to will have the upper hand. If you spend time in fastings and praying, so pass it to a journey with the prayer. It allows your spirit man to have dominance over your flesh. It permits the spiritual to dominate the chair. And if you give your flesh, so by the chair, the right, the upper hand, the over your spirit, so the spirit by feeding the flesh to nourish the chair. The flesh will have dominance. La chair a dominé sur l'esprit. Whatever you feed, quel que soit ça on nourrit, hein, grows the most. C'est même qui grandit plus. So if you feed your flesh, pour nourrir la chair, your flesh grows. La chair a grandi. And if you feed your spirit, pour nourrir l'esprit, your spirit grows. L'esprit a grandi. So it's what you are feeding. C'est ça. Son marteau que sont de ça qui sont nourris. And today the church. Of Jesus Christ, et je dis à l'Église de Jésus Christ, don't understand fasting anymore. Je pas comprendre le jeûne encore. And so many churches don't fast anymore. Quand puis l'Église qui pas jeûné encore, because it's difficult. Parce qu'il est difficile. Especially when you live in America. Parce que ça me loue à vivre aux États-Unis. With all the McDonald's and avec toutes les McDonald's, French fries and <laughs> everybody is selling something. Tout pour la vendre au bagage. Every street has food. Demonstrations of all kinds of food. Tout type de manger. And restaurants. Avec restaurant. Amen. Amen. But I want to applaud your pastor. But I can applaud the pastor. And all of you. And you For embarking on this fast. Parce que nous entrons dans jeune ça. It will change your life. La changer la vie. It will impact your life. La impacter la vie. It was fasting was practiced under the Old Testament. Yo te yo te pratique le jeûne dans l'Ancien Testament. As I said, and practiced also in the New Testament. Il te pratique dans le Nouveau Testament. One time in the book of Mark, the ninth chapter. Dans l'Évangile de Marc, chapitre neuf. And the twenty-ninth verse. Le verset vingt-neuf. Jesus said. Jésus Christ dit comme ça. That this kind. Everybody say this kind. Yes, type de so there are many kind or types. But he said this particular kind he said, ça, ça, will require fasting. Sorti, and fasting is simply abstaining for food for spiritual purposes. Jeune ou abstenir de manger pour des raisons spirituelles. You abstain from food. Ou abstenir de manger. From the rising of the sun le du soleil, to the going down of the sand. It was practiced 
in the old times where they fasted from six today to the next day six and then they broke their fast and that's why we call it breakfast amen but just doing it from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same is okay. So fell the scissors in my tip with the labrum itself. It's just abstaining from food. We're just abstaining from manger. But I will encourage drinking water. Amen. To flush your system. system. Amen. Amen. Uh, drinking water is not part of fasting. Sometimes people do it too much. They say, well, I'm on a dry fast. So I'm not even drinking water. You need to drink water to flush your system. But I'll leave that to the medical people to deal with that. And I'll leave that to the interpretation of your pastor. Amen. Amen. God will hold him responsible for what happens to you, not me. <laughs> so I better put it on him. So Amen. Him. <laughs> but Jesus said there are certain kind of situations. And there are certain kinds of demonic entities. Or demons. When you are dealing with them, fasting is required. And necessary. Necessary. Jesus said it. Jesus Christ did that. Yeah, he was dealing with an epileptic demon. It had to deal with your demon epilepsy. And the disciple says, "How come we couldn't cast it out?" It's because I suffered from cashasel. And he said, "This kind it because that tips requires fasting." And at the time of fasting, is giving God an undivided attention. No, I'm just saying, by putting all your attention. Where you are not distracted by social media. Because one of the major weapons the enemy is using in this end time is social media. And your cell phone. Cell phone. You spend a lot of Christians spend more time on their cell phone than they spend in the world. And they spend more time on social media than they spend in prayer and on their knees. If you spend half of the time you spend on your cell phone, social media, in prayer, in the word, and in fasting, you will be the most anointed individual in the world. So te passe moi c'est temps qu'on passe dans téléphone ou faire l'argent dans la prière ou t'as plus option dans le monde. But the enemy have succeeded to distract us. Mais l'ennemi a les distrait nous. And one of the most powerful weapons of Satan. Et une des armes plus puissantes que Satan a utilisé. Apart from fear. À partir de la de pas de la peur. Apart from deception. À partir au lieu de la déception. Which are very powerful weapons working in the end time against God's people. One of the strongest weapons is the weapon of distraction. distraction. To distract you. So you can't concentrate. You can't focus. Jesus said if your eyes be single for problem then your whole body is full of light focus so in order for your eyes to be single focus it means you must focus focus tap somebody and say focus 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 tap somebody say focus focus tap another person and say concentrate 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 yeah we are not concentrating anymore. There is too much mental bombardment and emotional unrest. We don't know how to be still in the church anymore. There's too much activities going on. So God is speaking and we can't hear because we are distracted. We are bombarded. The phone is ringing. We are watching television. Everything is going on at the same time. So we are not hearing and faith comes by hearing and hearing by 
by the word of God. And there is two kinds of word of God. There is the written word. There is the spoken word. There is the logos. And there is the rima. And the rima is necessary in the times we live in than ever before. What is the rima? The rima is a specific word spoken to a specific individual or a church or a community or a nation or a group of people at a specific time for a specific purpose. You know, when I came in yesterday, I was trying to take a nap. And I saw this snake in my hotel room. And he was trying to find me. And I said to the Holy Spirit, What is this? And he said, It's a queen. It's a queen. It's a queen from the marine kingdom. It's, it's from the waters. And he said, it rains in the spirit in this city. And it's one of the things that is fighting the men of God in this city. So I said, but well, I don't live in this city. Why is he coming to visit me? And he said, he's just trying to check you out. He's just to check you out to see if you have eyes to see. And to see your strength. And I said, in the name of Jesus, but you know the Jesus. I override you. Amen. Amen. But it's something you are going to have to deal with, Pastor. Yeah. It's in this city. La Vilsa. It's a queen. So Randy. In the spirit. And the spirit. And I'll tell you some more about it. Madu, get my bagay delivery. When is your next birthday? Ki pushen fetu. Fetu. Yeah. Twenty third of December. Don't go on vacation. Pa lo vacances pa fetu. Yeah. Don't go on vacation. Pa lo vacances pa fetu. If you are planned vacation, cancel it. So are planning the vacances. Yeah. There is something going on. 2020. 2020. 2020. I see that they've removed an old garment you are wearing and they put a new garment on you. And is 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 an apostolic mantle ah, so manto apostolic. and there is a dimension of the prophetic and when that happens you will move in the supernatural that will blow the minds of people but but the enemy is raising an objection in the spirit so before your next birthday I will give you a, I will give you some keys. Something you must do to override the objection. Tell somebody this is your season. Whenever God decides to move. There is always a reaction from hell. Satan will always react. And that's why the fasting is very critical. There is no substitute for prayer and fasting. Now, systems are great. System both. Because most times spiritual people live in the spirit and are earthly no good. 
Yeah, yeah. I've seen people who have in the spirit. And everything is spirit. And there is no spirit of excellence. No systems. No organization. They don't follow rules. They don't follow the laws. Because they live in the spirit. So they're crazy. But that doesn't mean spirituality is bad. We just need balance. Tell somebody balance. And then I've seen people who don't want anything to do with the supernatural and are just into systems and organization. And they don't want anything to do with the Holy Spirit. But the church is not an organization. The church is not a legal corporation or entity. organization legal entity. As much as we are required by law to register and to be in compliance with the laws, the church is a spiritual movement. This is some movement spiritual. And it is not led by rules or laws of men. It is led and guided by the Holy Ghost. And like never before, we need the Holy Spirit to guide the church. Because Jesus said, for 30 years, he said, my time has not yet come. 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 My time what was he waiting for? 30 years. And we move. And yet he was the word made flesh. He won't preach. He won't teach. He won't work miracles. He won't accept. Invitation. To go anywhere. He said my time. Has not yet come. Then in the book of Luke. The third chapter. The 21st verse. He went to be baptized. And during the time of baptism. The Bible says. That why is all the people were being baptized. And Jesus also being baptized. The heavens. Open. When he prayed. The heavens opened. When all the people were being baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also, Jesus also, Jesus also, Jesus also, Jesus also, Jesus also being baptized, being baptized, and prayed. And the The heavens, même côté à ciel là, open, l'ouvert. As much as systems and organizations and PR and protocol is good, malgré your system, protocol, system, bon, and are necessary, et you're necessary, ladies and gentlemen, frère, none of those things opens heaven. You never get up again, Louis Ciela. If you want an open heavens ministry. You need to understand the protocols of prayer. For comprendre protocol de la prière. Amen. Amen. Because if you don't learn, and if you don't know how to carry and wait before God, if you don't know how to fast and pray, you can fill the stadium. Seven times on Sunday morning, set for an dimanche matin, and all you will have is dry bones. No anointing, no spirit, no oil. And I'll tell you something. You know why I came? I tell you why I came. I check your pastor out. I wasn't going to come. I don't preach in. I have a lot of churches. So I don't need invitations. And I have a lot of sons and bishops and prophets. Who have a lot of churches. So I can preach anywhere I want. So I don't need invitations. When I live in America 10 years ago. I used to pray for invitations. Now I don't need invitation anymore. Are you hearing me? So I don't go places. 
No matter what you give me, I don't, I don't go anywhere. But I just live and especially place. churches that are huge and mega. And they don't pray. You pray. And they don't fast. You fast. I run away from those churches. And I tell you why I run away. The Bible says, when an unclean spirit, an evil spirit, when it leaves a man, it goes walking around or wandering around dry places. Tell somebody it's about to be rain. It's about to rain. It's about to rain. It's about to rain. You see? Watch this. It's very important. It's very important. For you to understand the protocols of the spirit as a believer. And I don't like going to dry places. It's very dangerous. Because you will go there, use all your energy and anointing to be fighting demons. Yeah. Because they dwell in dry places. Parce que dans le so, I'm very, very careful where I go. Moi, très, très côté I don't just go anywhere. Just aller côté. If I go somewhere, there is a reason. Si mal côté, a reason. God wants to do something. Bon, je veux faire bagay. So, Jesus said, Jesus Christ dit comme ça. This kind of situation, de situation ça, yo, or demons, ou bien demons ça, yo, requires yo, mande, fasting pour jeûner, and praying. Pour la I've been preaching for 42 years Ma ans, and I've been in some situations parce que situation, that it took only fasting le jeûne, and strong intercession, et puis a plein intercession to move and to turn it around. Pour retirer, retirer. Amen. Amen. And Jesus Himself, Jesus Christ, parle, until He went up to heaven, avant de dans le ciel, He lived a fasting life. Il vie de jeûne. If you study the scriptures and look at His background very well, la parole, and you and I cannot be more spiritual than Moses, who fasted forty days twice. You and I cannot be more spiritual than Elijah, who fasted forty days and called fire from heaven. We can't be more spiritual than David. Neither more anointed than David. So. Fasting is part of our Christian walk. So, jeûne fait partie de la vie chrétienne. And it's not something we do once. So, every now, now and then, it's a lifestyle. So, still the vie qu'il It's a lifestyle. Jeûne sont still the vie qu'il y That it becomes, it becomes a lifestyle. Il vient tourner au style de vie. When you choose to eat five days in a week, ou choisir pour manger cinq jours, or six days in a week, ou bien six jours la semaine, and you fast a day, ou jeûner pour un jour, or two. That is very important. Très important. Somebody say, I hear you. Um, there are people like Nehemiah who fasted uh, for God to intervene in the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem. And I want us to look at some few scriptures here if you come with me to Nehemiah chapter 1. Reading from the 4th verse to the 11th verse of Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 4. And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days, and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. Uh, go ahead. And, I, and said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his covenant. Let thy ear now be attentive and thy eyes open, that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now, 
day and night mm -hmm. for the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee, both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments which thou hast commanded thy servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee the word that thou commanded thy servant Moses, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if ye turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, though they were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of heaven, yet will I gather them from thence and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Here ended the reading of God's word. Look at me. Got it. Uh, you all know the situation of Nehemiah. He was in exile. It's in exile. The walls of Jerusalem were burned down. It was a city without walls. They were all scattered abroad. When a word came to him about the condition of Jerusalem, one of the things he did was not to bring together a committee to brainstorm. All that is necessary. Brainstorming is good. But you must know the time for brainstorming and a time where you need God's attention. And Nehemiah recognized that we are going to need God's intervention. So he fasted and he prayed. And he sought God. And God intervened. And there was a divine turnaround. I announce to you how many of you joined the fast? You fasted. You fasted. I announce to you that there is coming a divine intervention in your life. Something is about to turn in your life. The tables are about to turn in your life. Something that was fighting you is about to bow. If you believe it, say yes. yes. I don't hear you. I said, if you believe it, say yes. yes. If you look at the book of Ezra, the eighth chapter, Ezra was in captivity. And they were sent back to go to Jerusalem. In Ezra. And they came to a place. They had their children. The precious things of the temple. They had treasures. Women. They were many. They had no soldiers. And they have to travel for days and weeks and months. Through some very dangerous Paths where robbers could have robbed them and killed them and wiped them out and taking everything they had from them. And Ezra said he could not go to the king to ask the king for protection because he had bragged to the king about how powerful. God is. And how our God can protect and deliver. And it was difficult for him to go to the king and say, I need some protection. Can you give me some soldiers to protect us, to take us to Jerusalem? And he said, when he saw that there was nothing he could do physically, he turned to God. And at the river Ahava, he proclaimed the fast. And they fasted. And they prayed that God will send angelic protection. That God will guide them and bring them and their children and all their possessions unharmed. 
on top sans toucher to Jerusalem Jerusalem and he said et il dit and when they fasted les ont jeûné and they prayed les ont prié the lord la l'éternel answered their prayer répond prier yo and send protection il voyait protection pour yo and they made it et yo rivé without the arm of flesh sans les armes de la chair i'm not saying you shouldn't have physical protection that's ba, not what i'm saying pas de pas supposer que protection physique if you need physical protection get it so besoin de protection physique cherchez but let your confidence be in god's protection les confidence sont supposées la protection bon dieu amen amen that is Ezra the 8th chapter ça c'est Ezra chapitre 8 if you look at first kings the 20th the 21st verse un roi verset 20 and from the 27 to the 28 verse first kings chapter 21 un roi chapitre 20 27 to 29 verse 27 just, just look at me because of time. I want, him à cause de temps. want you to look at me. There was a king by the name of Ahab. And he was married to a very wicked woman by the name of Jezebel. And let me say something here that Jezebel is not just a woman. Jezebel is a spirit. And Jezebel can also be a man. Yeah, Jezebel is a spirit. And it uses flesh and blood. So if you are a man and you are insecure or you love control, the spirit of Jezebel can access you and, and use you. And if you are a woman and there is an opening in you, the spirit of Jezebel can also access you. So when we talk about Jezebel, don't be looking at women. It's a spirit. And it can use a man. And it can use a woman. Jezebel is not a spirit. It's not a, a woman. It's a spirit. So it's spiritually. And the prophet went to announce to Ahab and Jezebel. Et là, a Ahab et Jezebel. And when Ahab heard Il est captain, the, the prophetic word, a, 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 a the Bible said and dit, he repented through fasting. Dans le jeûne, he fasted. Jeûne. But Jezebel decided, Jezebel decided that she has no respect and regard for the prophetic. And that she wasn't going to fast. Now look at the verse. And it came to pass uh -huh. when Ahab heard these words uh -huh. that he rent his clothes and put on soft cloth upon his flesh uh -huh. and fasted uh -huh. and lay in soft cloth and went softly. And the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite, saying, Seest thou how Ahab humbled himself before me? Humbled himself. So fasting is one of the ways we humble ourselves. He humbled himself. And as a result of the fast, look at what God said. Or look at God's response. Go ahead. Because he humbled himself before me. Uh -huh. I will not bring the evil in his days, mm -hmm. but in his son's days will I bring the evil upon his house. You see? So God deferred the judgment. He deferred the judgment because of the fast. And if you study that scripture carefully, you'll find out that Jezebel was thrown out of the window. By the eunuchs and dogs et et and she died et because of pride. So fasting is very powerful. Jeune très puissant. And don't let anybody tell you why are you fasting like this? It's necessary. Nécessaire. Fasting if you do it the right way, the way God requires for us to do it, has a lot of spiritual and even physical benefits. Yeah, I'll show you seven benefits of fasting. And if you have fasted, doing this month of fast, you must appropriate those benefits. 
The Jews have been fasting for the past 3,000 years. Plus de 3,000 ans. And they still fast. Et aussi l'abjuré. And they haven't stopped fasting. Et par exemple, c'est pas une rite jeûnée. Every major religion, toute religion, recognizes the place and the role of fasting. De reconnaître place et le jeûne. That fasting is a spiritual exercise. Now, whether they benefit from it or not is another matter. But we as believers understand the benefits of fasting. That apart from humbling ourselves before God, it enhances and helps and improve on our health our work with God our faith our spirituality our prayer life it's powerful it does a lot of things amen, amen. just giving you an understanding that when nothing works and everything fails fasting will work Jeune marché. There was a man by the name of Haman in the book of Esther. Haman the Agagite. And the Bible said he consulted the oracles of Satan for one solid year. Every day. Consulted the oracles. And he sought for a day that he could approach the king and have the undivided attention of the king and the ears of the king to carry out a plot against the children of Israel. And in order to do that, he consulted the oracle because he understood that the children of Israel or the Jews are spiritual people that you don't fight them with the natural that you don't fight spiritual people with logic that you don't fight spiritual people with philosophy that you don't fight spiritual people with flesh and blood that you don't fight spiritual people with skills but to deal with spiritual people you need the spiritual are you hearing me somebody so the bible said he consulted the oracles of satan for one year and he also used money money and spirituality to destroy the jews and a day came when the oracles told him on this particular day of the week go before the king it will be favorable for you whatever you ask you can have it he went before the king and brought a charge an accusation a conspiracy to kill and wipe out the Jews and King Ahasuerus gave him to the conspiracy against the Jews. When Mordecai had the plot that there was a conspiracy to assassinate all the Jews who lived from Ethiopia to India 124 provinces 124 provinces under King Ahasuerus the Bible says Mordecai went to Esther and said Esther there is a conspiracy against the Jews and you are Jewish if you don't do something about it You'll be killed. Even though you are the queen. The king does not know you are Jewish. And the law is against all Jews. Which includes you. So you got to do something. And Mordecai said. If you don't do something. Help will come. From somewhere else. But you won't survive. And Mordecai said, Esther, said, Esther, you are not a queen because you are beautiful. 
You are not a queen because you are sexy. Ou pas reine parce qu'on sexy. You are not a queen because you are better than the other 24 virgins of the 24 provinces of Kinahas. You have been chosen for such a time like this. Are you hearing me, somebody? You know, women that are married to powerful people. You have to be very careful. Yeah. You have to be very careful. I tell my wife, I said, I'm not just your husband. I'm a servant of God. I am an anointed of God. So I said, girl, I'm your man. But before I became your man, I was the man of God. And I'm still the man of God. And Esther understood that this conspiracy will require more than beauty, charm, and sex. plus que beauté, charm, and sex. So even though she was the queen, she understood that this fight, this conspiracy, is spiritual, and it will require spiritual weapons. So she said, I need to set my flesh and emotions aside. I need to remove this earthly garment. I need to put on my spiritual garment. I need to go before the Lord. I need to abstain from food. I need God's attention. And the Bible says, she proclaimed the fast for all the Jews for three days and three nights and she said I will go before the king even though it's against the law in those days that even though she was a queen she can approach the king if the king has not invited her to come and see him she will die a lady came to me the other day and she said, my husband does not understand me. He doesn't listen to me. We are always fighting. And I said, girl, if the approach you are using is not working, change it. Change it. Change it. Ma Angelo said, if you don't like something, do something about it. If you can't do anything about it, change your attitude. Yeah. Amen. I said, the man is not impressed with your tears. The tears are not working. So stop crying. Deploy something else. Esther realized that this situation will require more than charm and beauty. I was telling some men of God the other day, I said, when it comes to dealing with the spirit of Jezebel, you need more than anointing. Yeah. Because Jezebel herself is anointed. Because Jezebel is anointed. I said, when it comes to dealing with Jezebel, you need consecration and purity. Because if you look at, so if you look at the situation with Jezebel, Jezebel, it wasn't an anointing, nor the zeal of Jehu. It was the eunuch who threw her out of the window. But watch this. Regardez ça. The Bible said, la Bible dit, when Jezebel heard, let Jezebel, that Jehu, 
Elizabeth Tadejehu was at the gate of her house. Tena Port Kaili, the gate Portland, Portland of her house. Kaili. The Bible says. La Bible says she went and she did her makeups. La le ebi makiel makeup soli. Yeah, it's in the Bible. She did her makeups. Ebi te makeup soli. This makeup she didn't even start today. Oh. Makeup is about to commence today. It started a long time ago. So commence on packet to this land. And there is something with the makeup. A young man came to see me the other day. He was in love with this young lady. And he was talking about how beautiful she was and everything. I said, that is good. I said, have you been to her house? To see her early in the morning. Before her makeup. I said, you have to know her without makeup. To see whether this is authentic and original. Or counterfeit. Years ago, I took some pastors to a program I did in Chicago. And one of them was, was not married. Very nice man of God. So, when we went to the hotel, he said, Papa, he said, Papa, I think I've seen my wife. I said, that is good. So, who is she? She said, that lady that came to talk to you. That your spiritual daughter. I said, brother. Son. You miss God. I said, you didn't see well. I said, do you know who she is? She's 62 years old. She's a grandmother. So he went on his knees. He said, Papa, Papa, pray and deliver my sides. You know what the problem was? She's 62 years old. And she's kept her body. And her makeup. I no joke. Are you hearing me? So brothers, open your eyes where. Because some of the makeups are anointed. Very, very anointed. Yeah. A grandmother can charm you. A grandmother. By the time she finished with her makeup, when you see her, Lowell. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So the Bible says, the Bible says when Jezebel heard Les Jezabel tande, yeah, that Jehu was at her gate, la la kaili, she knew what she had. You see, if you're a man of God, so, so on the day, you have to develop capacity, spiritual capacity, for the public capacity spiritual, to override charms and looks. Because if you can't deal with charms and looks, and you are anointed, you can lose your oil. Yeah. Yeah. So the Bible said, La Bible says, she went in and she did her makeup. Then she came and she stood by the window. I want to say to every man here, there is a lady standing in the window with her makeup looking at you. That's another message for another time. And when Jehu saw her standing at the window, he said to the eunuchs, Throw her down. So, I could imagine her looking at the eunuchs and saying to them, don't you like what you are seeing? 
Don't you like it? Ou pas aimer? Do you see how pretty and beautiful ou, I am? Ou pas comment belle? You can have me. Ou pas pour qu'elle? And I could see that you not saying to her. Ou pas pour elle dire mademoiselle? Madame. Madame. We are you not? No, Enik. <laughs> we are you not? <laughs> we don't have unction to function. Ne pas que on se pour fonctionner. Hello. Hello. Why are you looking at me that way? Vous vous regardez comme ça. You are all acting like you are angels. You are not Ou angels. Ah, il sait que c'est ange, yo pas ange. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So Jezebel looked at them. Jezebel gardé yo with the makeup. Avec le maquillage lui. And said to the eunuchs. Il dit comme ça. You can have me. Vous pouvez m'avoir chez moi. And the eunuchs said we are sorry. Et ils disent nous sorry. We don't have feelings. Nous pas des feelings. We are dead. Nous nous mourir. Until your feelings die. Pas avant que flesh lâche mourir. Until your flesh has come under. Pas avant que flesh la mourir. You can't touch the spirit of Jezebel. Tu peux pas toucher l'esprit de Jezebel. That's why she's fooling around in a lot of churches. Ça fait même elle n'a plus l'église. That's why she she said teacher in the church. Les sont enseignant en pile dans l'église. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapitre 2. God said I have something against you. Il dit moi bagarre contre vous-même. Because you've met that woman Jezebel. Tu laisses la femme Jezabel. Who called herself a prophet? Qui se dit prophétesse. Self appointed prophet. Qui mettait tête les prophétesse. A teacher. Vous mettez enseigner. In my church. Dans l'église moi. Feeding my prophet. La enseigner prophète moi yo. And my servants, with contaminated food, la bio de manger contaminé. With food, avec manger, dedicated to idols. And after they eat, après on fait manger, they begin to commit fornication. Et ils tombent dans l'immoralité sexuelle. So Jehu said, Jehu dit comme ça. You knock, and if you throw her down, la crie mamselle là-bas. Hear me. Tandem. It was not Jehu that killed Jezebel. C'est pas Jehu qui a tué Jezebel. It was the eunuch. C'était Enoch. If you want to deal with the spirit of Jezebel, so that means dealing with the spirit of Jezebel, you need purity and sanctification. Vous avez besoin de la pureté et la sanctification. It will take more than anointing. La prend plus que onction. Yeah. You see, you can be anointed. Vous pouvez être onction sur. And fool around. Et vous faites tout ça qui pas bon. You can be anointed. Vous pouvez être onction sur. And still cast out devils. Vous pouvez chasser des démons. Because casting out of devils. Vous pouvez chasser des démons. Has nothing to do with your anointing. Pas rien pour dire avec onction. It has to do with the name of Jesus. C'est le nom de Jésus qui fait sortir. For it is written. Parce que la Bible dit. At the mention of the name of Jesus. Pour mentionner le nom de Jésus. Every knee. Tout genou. Of things in heaven. Dans la terre. And on earth. Dans sous la terre. Shall bow. Tout pose tête. And every tongue. Et toute langue. Shall confess. Tout pose confesser. That Jesus is Lord. Que Jésus Christ est Dieu. Luke chapter ten verse seventeen. Luke six dix-sept. When the apostles came, les apôtres sont venus. They said, "Master, go see Matt. Even the demons, même les démons, are subject to us. Soumet en bas. Through thy name, let us know. So the demons don't submit to you. Demons don't submit en bas. They submit to the name of Jesus. Ils soumettent en bas le nom de Jésus. So casting out of demons don't make you anointed. Chasser des démons pas faire aucune action. Yeah. I see people cast out demons and they feel they are very you are not anointed you are not powerful well, the well, demons are not going out because of you they are going out because of the name of Jesus demons yo pas sorti à cause de vous même mais au sorti à cause du nom de Jésus now watch this gardez ça is there anybody here with a car key somebody has a car key est-ce que vous avez une clé machine là rapide avec car key donc clé machine give me your car key if i go to the car park right now si mal là parc là qu'on y a with his car key avec les machines là and i enter his car and i apply the key the car machine will not say to me you are not my owner you are a thief son volaye i can't respond to you the car will respond to the key machine après pour la clé not to me c'est pas moi même but the key clear and i can take the car anywhere i want to vous pouvez machine aller n'importe où t'avel until the police arrest me jusqu'à ce policier arrête i can do whatever i want to do with it car fait semblant avec clear because of the key à cause de clear in the spirit dans l'esprit the name of jesus dans le nom de jésus is a key son clé you didn't hear what i said you didn't hear what i said that's why that's why we get confused sometimes c'est ça fait quelquefois nous confus 
We see people living all kinds of lies, still still doing vie, all kinds of crazy things, and they are using the name of Jesus, and they are getting results. Okay, I say, but how can these people get results? How come they are working miracles? How come they are performing all these miracles? It's the name. But on the day of judgment, Jesus said, when I come back, Jesus said, to back. on that day, Many will come to me and say, In thy name, we cast out devils. In thy name, we heal the sick. In your name, we did mighty works. And you say, I don't know you. I have never known you. You stole somebody's car. You were using a car without a license. You are a thief. I know you not. How do we deal with that? More light. Plus lumière. Yeah, we spread more light. The more light we spread, plus lumière we will weaken and reduce darkness. But as for these people, false prophets, false prophets, false apostles, false apostles, false evangelists, false evangelists, false teachers, false pastors, false pastors, you can't stop them. You can't stop them. Yeah, it's always been there. It's always been there. And it will be here until Jesus comes. Even in the church, there are two kinds of people in the church. We have the sheep and the goat. They are in the church. Turn to somebody and say, are you a sheep or a goat? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody called me today from one of my churches and she was very sad and heavy and she said, but Papa, I don't understand why he's a Christian and he can treat me that way. How can a Christian do that? She went and talked, talked, crying. And I said, you know what it is? Yeah, let me tell you something. He is a good, you are a sheep. You can't do anything about it. That's why you see people in church doing crazy things. And you ask yourself, how can they be in church all these years and be acting this way? Doing all this crazy and they call themselves Christian? Yeah, yeah. They are a goat Christian. It's a great book. Look at the characteristic of sheep and goats. Goats are very stubborn. Rebellious. Always fighting somebody. Always creating confusion. Goats, they don't work together. They scatter all the time. Sheep are dumb. Humble. Obedient, compliance driven. Goats are not like that. Book pas comme ça. So I tell my bishops and my pastors. I said, take time to study the sheep and the goats. And I said, don't make any board member in your church. Don't put any sheep in the place of a goat. And don't put a goat in the place of a sheep. I was dealing with one of my bishops. And he was setting up a board. And he had two people. Who their attitude was that of a goat. And not a sheep. But he had to use them. So I said, this is what you do. Let everybody sign a resignating letter. And don't put a date on it. And let them all know that even though they are serving on the board, they have signed their resignating letters in advance. And put it on file. Anytime they misbehave, you register the letter <laughs> and they are automatically removed. 
He said, what will that do? I said, that will cause that bad nature of the goat in those two people to line up. Because they already know that they are already sacked because they have signed their resignation letter. So I said, you dictate the letter and let them sign it. And say in the letter, I thank God and the bishop for giving me opportunity to serve in this church. Bishop is a very good man. Bishop so boldly. <laughs> and I'm happy for having served faithfully in this house. I have no problem with the church. And I thank God. But right now, I believe it's time for me to do other things. So I am resigning without any pain or offense whatsoever. And let them sign. Yeah. No date. Put it on fine. Anytime. You see the horn of the goat. Call them for a meeting. If they don't change. Thank them very much for serving on the board. Find, find that letter. Find that letter. Yeah. And replace them. Simple. Très simple. Amen. Amen. Esther fasted three days, three nights. Esther jeûné pendant trois jours et trois nuits. And a conspiracy that took one year. Conspiracy took pour un an to take effect. Pour te faire là. With three days fasting. Avec trois jours jeûne. She nullified it. She annulated. I declare today. Me déclarer aujourd'hui. Any conspiracy against you. Conspiracy sur vous-même. And your family. Notre famille. Your health. Santé. Your business. Business. Your background. Background. After this fasting. Après jeûne ça. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. It will backfire. Somebody say backfire. backfire. Somebody scream say backfire. 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 Yeah. It backfire. Back. With three days of fasting. Avec trois jours jeunes. I want you to write down some information. Bishop, do you have the corporate fasting of the nation of Britain and the US? See if you have it there. I want you to take down this note before I begin to do other things. In 1914, there was a fast declared by the king of Britain as a result of a conflict between the United Kingdom, Britain, and the forces of Hitler. And His Majesty King George, Majesty La, what? George proclaimed a national day of fasting for the entire nation to gather and fast. And as a result of that fasting, there was an intervention, and God gave Britain the upper hand over Hitler. The invasion of Britain began, and there was a man by the name of Ritz Howells. Ritz Howells, they used to call him the great intercessor. He wasn't a prophet. He wasn't a pastor. He wasn't a teacher. He was just an intercessor. And he had predicted and said, and this is what he said. He said, Britain shall not be invaded. And it was on the front page of the newspapers in the 1940s. And Britain was invaded. When the invasion of Britain began, he went to the Lord. And he said, Lord, I told the Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, that Britain shall not be invaded. And the invasion has begun. And the Holy Spirit said, What do you want? And he said, About about the invasion of Britain and send Hitler's soldiers to Russia. If you study history, you will see that the invasion of Britain was aborted. 
and the German soldiers et soldats germains were given an assignment to attack Russia. Yo allé attaquer la Russie. Au, au, and they tôt. went in a very bad winter time. Yo allé dans un mauvais temps côté uh, l'hiver. And they died. Yo mouri. But the only reason why Britain was not invaded. Ça fait pas raison parce que was because of Rich Howell. Parce que Rich Howell and the national day of fasting declared. Avec jour je le déclare. By His Majesty King George. Que roi je le déclare. Read it. Listen. Listen. The first fast Sunday. The first fast. It was too fast. Too corporate or national fasting declared. Listen to the first and the second. Go ahead. Sunday, 26 May, 1940. 1940. You can Google it. Sunday, 26 May, 1940. Go ahead. This is a, a national day of prayer in the United Kingdom. Uh -huh. Reason was for the deliverance at a time when Britain was staring military disaster in the face mm -hmm. in an area around Dunkirk. There is, you can Google Dunkirk later when you go home. There is what we call the Battle of Dunkirk. Yeah, you, you Google it, you come out. Great history about Dunkirk. Yep, Google And this deliverance took place because of the National Day of Fasting. Number two, Numéro deux. this guy called Rhys Howells was fasting and praying. Et and he kept saying, La there is a problem with our soldiers. And he said, I feel restless in my spirit that something is wrong with our soldiers and the media. And everybody said, there's nothing. Everything is okay. And he kept praying. La Suddenly, Soudainement, it came out that Hitler's army que Amé Hitler have surrounded over 300,000 of the British army oh, 300, soldiers to kill them. Yo. And through some divine intervention or providence, de divine, all the British soldiers Escaped. We call it the Battle of Dunkirk. That deliverance was not because of military intelligence. It was because of the fastings and the prayers that went up. Look at the second fast. The king and the queen were present for the main service at Westminster Abbey with Prime Minister Winston Churchill. That was the first fast. The results. Uh -huh. Victories by series of providences. Series of providences. Including strategic mistakes uh -huh. by the German command. God will cause your enemies to make mistakes this week. You did, I said God will cause your enemies to make mistakes this week. The tables will turn in your favor if you believe it, say yes. The weather will favor you if you believe it, say yes. And the helpfulness of the weather. The weather will help you. I said the weather will help you. You did it. I said the weather will help you. Your circumstances will favor you. Now listen. Even though you live in America, your background is not American. So don't sit down there and look at me like you are from the snow. You are not from the snow. Some of you, your background is bad. Yeah. People do strange things in your background. And you need the power of God to override them. And I said this week, the weather will favor you. Circumstances will favor you. If you believe me, say yes. Go ahead, Bishop. What became known as the miracle of Dunkirk. The miracle of Dunkirk. You know it when you go home, you see. Go ahead. The second national day of prayer. Another day of prayer was declared. By the king. In difficult times, if families will fast and pray, God will give you a miracle. In trying times and difficult times, if you fast and pray and seek the Lord and not depend on the arm of flesh, God will make a way for you. Go ahead. 
Sunday, the 8th of September, 1940. Uh -huh. The reason right. was... Sunday, 8th of September. Écrit dimanche 8 septembre 1940. 1940. Dimanche right. 8 septembre 1940. The reason was the Royal Air Force had taken a pounding from the German Luftwaffe. Mm -hmm. And Britain seemed to be on the verge of a defeat mm -hmm. that would leave the way open for invasion. You will not be defeated in the name of Jesus. I said you will not be defeated in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, say yes. Go ahead. The previous day had seen the beginning of Blitz. Mm -hmm. The horrific German bombing campaign on civilian London. Yeah. However, this shift of direction gave relief to the fighter bases mm -hmm. and enabled the RAF to regroup successfully mm -hmm. from the climatic weeks of battle of Britain. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind. Write it down. Sunday, September the 8th, 1940. You can Google it. I want to give you some other historical points about the United States. Let me give you the historical points. Bishop, get ready to give us the reason. George Washington in June 17, 74 declared a day of fasting. 1774, a day of fasting. And look at the reason. George Washington and the Assembly of Virginia declared on June 1st, 1774 mm -hmm. as a day of fasting, humiliation, and prayer. Mm -hmm. The reason was for the British Parliament that had ordered an embargo on the port of Boston. Mm -hmm. The day of fasting, humiliation, prayer to implore the intervention for averting the calamity which threatens destruction to our civil rights. Mm -hmm. The results, victory for the U.S. Mm -hmm. George Washington not only believed in praying for divine intervention, but he also believed in acknowledging such interventions when prayer was answered. Mm -hmm. He declared February 19th, 1795 mm -hmm. for national thanksgiving and prayer. How many of you do national thanksgiving? You, you, no, know, you do thanksgiving here? Yes. It didn't just happen. You, you do it. You just eat turkey. You do Thanksgiving. There's a reason for it. Amen. You can Google it. Look at another. President George, John Adams. John Adams. John Adams. Proclaimed. May 9, 1798. A day of fasting and prayer for the United States. Go ahead. Write those dates down. That's how you. These are not the days of the Bible. These are days and times of our generation. Look. Write it down. May 9, 1798. John Adams, John Adams declared a day of fasting and prayer for the United States. Go ahead. The reason was that the United States came to the verge of open war with, with France. France. Yeah, write it down. Another day of fasting. Another day of fasting. President James Madison. President James Madison. President James Madison. President James Madison. January 12th. 1815. Proclaimed the day of fasting. Proclaimed Look at the reason. January 12, 1815, mm -hmm. day of public humiliation, fasting and prayer to Almighty God. Reason was for the safety and the welfare of the United States because U.S. found itself at war with Britain. All right, let's move again. Look at another one. And get all the data call. Three times President... Of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln declared the fasting and prayer. 1861. Go ahead, Bishop. 1861. 1861. 
by Abraham Lincoln, the first fast mm -hmm. as a day of national humiliation, prayer and fasting. And the reason was for the restoration of national peace and unity during the Civil War. Second fast. Of the second, second fast was proclaimed. 30th March, 1863. Go ahead. March 30th, 1863. Mm -hmm. and the reason was that the people of the United States needed to repent as a country through prayer and fasting. Third fast. Third fast. Third Third fast. August. August. Go ahead. Third fast was August 1864. Mm -hmm. Reason cooperation of all who held positions of authority in every area of national life. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so, just giving you a little bit of history for you to realize that Fasting is very powerful. There are seven benefits of fasting. And I will just give it to you when you go home. You can read it. To give me time to pray. And minister to people. If you go to Isaiah chapter 58. Isaiah chapter 58. Seven benefits of fasting. Isaiah 58. From the eight verse to the 14 verse of Isaiah 58 you will see seven benefits of corporate and individual fasting and if you join the fast those seven benefits are things you must expect to happen in your life because it's going to happen. But you must know it and expect it. Tell somebody, know it and expect it. And it shall happen. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where's the choir? Can you sing, open the floodgates of heaven? Let it rain. Yeah. Tell somebody it's about to rain. Yeah, tell somebody it's about to rain. Tell two people it's about to rain. Tell somebody get ready, get ready, get ready. It's about to rain. The gates of heavens are about to open right now. And it's about to rain. Stand on your feet for the next few minutes. It's about to rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. And let it rain. Let it rain. Jesus. No, it's two, it's two things. Opening the floodgates of heaven is different from this. But this too is good. So if you can sing this, this is so good. It's all about, it's all about the floodgates being open and the rain coming. So this also is good. Any one of them is fine. Okay. Lift up your hands. Open the floodgates. In abundance, and cause your rain to fall on me. Lift up your hands. Open the floodgates. I want you to sing it for yourself. In abundance, tell the Lord, open it, Lord. And cause your rain to fall on me. We're in your presence. Let it rain. It's about to rain. Cause it rain. Let it rain right it now. It's about to rain. We're in your presence, God. Let it rain. Cause it rain. Sing it. In and cause your rain to fall. Open the blood in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me. See my bow. Lift it up.
pray for the sick, but before then, I want to deal with some few things I'm picking in the spirit. I want those of you here when you dream, you keep seeing snakes. Snakes in your dream. Come forward quickly. Come forward quickly. Come forward quickly. Keep singing. Come forward quickly. 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 Come forward Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. We need your touch. Lift your hands up. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now. 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 For the spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Right now. 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 This is what I want you to do. I'm going to get everybody here. This is the day of the baptism of the Holy Spirit with fire. With fire. Say fire. I want us to call fire. When it comes to snakes, you need fire. You need fire. I want everybody here to put your hands together and begin to call for the fire of God. Begin to pray and command the fire of God. The fire of God. I need, I need ushers. Organize it quickly before I tag them. I need ushers. I need ushers. I need ushers. I, need ushers. I, need ushers. I can't tag them without ushers. Na person move the cabinet do you? Na person move ushers. Everybody, open your mouth. Call for fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Touch. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire, fresh fire, touch, fresh fire, touch, fresh fire. Push it, release, fresh fire. Those of you at the front, lift up your hands. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Let me know. Those at the front, you don't have to pray. Yours is just to receive. Those at the front, lift up your hands. Let me know. Everybody else at the back, I want you to pray and call for the release of fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. I want Pastor to come. I want Pastor to be here with me. I want Pastor to come. And I want First Lady to join me. I want Pastor and First Lady to come. Fresh fire. So we make sure you are moving with me. Very, very important. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. I need I need ushers to be behind them before I touch them. Well, Church, you. I need the rest of you to begin to clap your hands and call for fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Release fresh fire. Call down fresh fire. Clap your hands and pray. Come on, fresh fire. 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 Fresh fire.
Sete, Rebala, Rabataya, Neke Shepe, Rodobo, Posata, Rabala, Rabataya. In your dream, put one hand on your stomach, lift up your other one. I want to pray a simple prayer. God, I wish I had time. Put one hand on your stomach, lift up your other one. Say in the name of Jesus, 
Say in the name of Jesus. You know this is it. I declare. Declare. By the power of Jesus' name. By the puissance of Jesus. That I am the redeemer of the Lord. Satan. Satan. I renounce your power. I renounce my mother's curse. I renounce my father's curse. I renounce my mother's demon. I renounce my father's demon. I destroy my father's yoke and my mother's yoke. Right now, I release myself from the consequence of the iniquity of my bloodline. And right now, I call upon the fire of the Holy Ghost now to come upon me. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive the release now. Receive. Receive the release now. Receive the release now. Receive the release. Receive the release now. Receive that release now. In the name of Jesus, release this young girl. Release her. Come here. Bring her back. Bring her back. You have some serious issues. I want you to help her for me. Amen. Lift up your hands. Lift, up. Lift it up. Lift it up. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, Jesus. Jesus. Oh Lord, Jesus. Oh Lord, Jesus. 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 Touch. Push it. Fresh fire. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Jesus. Jesus. Touch. Jesus. 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 Holy Spirit. Set us free. Holy Spirit. Set us free. Holy Spirit. Set us Release them now. We'll ask you. We'll ask you. We'll ask you. Release. We'll ask you. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Ah. Release it. We'll ask you. Thank you. You can take your seat now. I have to go back to the situation. Please take your seat now. Please take your seat. Please take your seat. Please, Please, take, your seat. Please take your seat. Yeah. Take your seat now. You can take your seats now. Yeah, take your seats. Take your seats. Take your seats. Take your seats. In the name of Jesus, take your seats. Please take your seats right now. I want everybody to be in the spirit. No movements. Nobody moving. Take your seats. Take your seats. Take your seats. Take your seat. Please be seated. Please be seated. Jesus. 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 Pastor, I want your pastors to come, please. We have some things to deal with. Some of your pastors, if they can join us. Okay? Now, I want to deal with three categories of issues right now that the Holy Spirit is showing me. I want those of you who dream and you see yourself dead. You see yourself dead. Or you see yourself talking to your dead loved ones. People who are dead. You keep seeing yourself in your dream. Walking with them or talking to them. It's not them. It's a familiar spirit. And you have a feeling that you are going to die. You feel like you are going to die. It's a projection. Come forward. Come forward. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up. Pastor, I want your pastors to come, please. We just need to lay hands on them and release them. That's all. I want everybody praying. I want everybody praying right now. And one of the things we want to do is to ask God for fresh fire. When, when there is fire, all these things stop. Yeah, fire. Fire answers the question. Fire will settle the matter. So I want everybody, wherever you are, start praying, start clapping your hands, and release fresh fire. Fresh fire. Where there is fire, all these things will be taken care of. In the name of Jesus. Fresh fire. We need, we need to start laying hands on them and releasing them. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, where are the counselors? Where... Where are the ushers behind ushers, them? Make sure. Ushers, there you. Make sure, yeah. Pray for fresh fire. Fresh fire. Release him now. Let him go. Let him go. Fresh fire. Release him. Come back here. Come back. Come back. Those of you are the front here. Those are the front here. They shouldn't clap. They should just lay hands on them. Only those here. Yeah, the rest can clap. Yeah, as soon as we release them. Yeah, as soon as we release them. 
Everybody, lift up your right hand. Tout le monde levez droit ou vers le ciel. Lift up your right hand. Mais droit vers le ciel. Put Psalm 116 verse 8 on the screen. Psalm 116 Psalm 116 verse 8. Verse 8. Psalm 116 Psalm 116 verse 8. Verse 8. I command the deliverance of your soul from death. Je commande la délivrance d'amour de la mort. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. You know the Jesus. I claim and I command the deliverance of my soul from premature death and my eyes from tears and my feet from falling right now in the name of Jesus. Those of you in the congregation begin to clap your hands and command deliverance from death. And those of you here, put your hands on your stomach. Right now. Okay, pastors, let's start touching them. Touch, 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 be delivered. Touch, be delivered. Touch, be delivered. Touch, be delivered. Now. Touch, touch, be delivered. Touch, be delivered. Touch, be delivered. Now, now, now. Rabba sita rabba ya. Rebo soto rabba baba. Rabba sita rebo sa. Rabba baba baba baba. Rebo soto rabba ya. Rebo koso. Osito fil puye puyo. Sima leve o kape fela muna vini rapid 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 rapid. Ela é o vini da mete bem no vão de de sul vão mete bem sul vão rapid 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 rapid. Raba baba baba baba. Rebo soto baba. Raba baba baba baba. Rida sala baia. Rebo koso. Puye puye puye. Puye da sul puye. Rabe mo puye. Rabe mo puye. Rabe mo puye. Raba sita raba baba baba. Raba baba baba. Touch. Thank 
Before I pray for the sick, there's another group of people I want us to help them. These particular people, some of you will vomit. Things will come out of you. Let it come out. Don't hold it. Let it come. Those of you who sleep and you find yourself eating in your dreams, you eat in your dreams. It's not good. They can give you cancer, sickness. They can give you anything, even witchcraft. I want everybody to please move from the front here. Only the ushers and the ushers, please organize yourself well. Let there be one long line from that end to that end, please. Very important. Yeah. Those of you who sleep and you find yourself eating in your dreams, please come forward. As a believer, you shouldn't be eating in your dreams. It means you are being accessed. They are accessing you. 